Okay, it's time to invite Mikey to a night of night stories. Today we will sit together by the campfire tonight and tell each other various scary stories. Let's see who will have them scarier. Okay, Mikey, I'm already at your door. I hope you're ready for a night of campfire sitting on a log. Great, I've already prepared everything for our camp. Oh, hi, JJ. It seems you've already prepared everything for our horror story night tonight. Okay, I'm ready to go to our place. Let's go, JJ. No problem, Mikey. I've already figured out what story I'm going to tell you today. Okay, I'm ready to listen to her, JJ. Huh, it looks like I found you, JJ and Mikey. Today, you won't be able to escape from me anymore. I hate you. It's time to catch you and destroy you. But before that, I'll put you in cages. Okay. To scare you with a potion, I'll turn into a monster. Let's see how scared you are this night. Haha. <laughs> And so, let's start telling my new story that I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. The story begins with the fact that one villager went for a walk in the forest, but he was found by one monster who ate them. Wow, it looks like I haven't heard this JJ story yet. I'm in complete shock. Okay, go on. It's already starting to scare me. Now I'm starting to be afraid to go into the forest. Okay, then I'll keep telling the story if you don't mind. Stop, JJ! What is it? Urgently, look at it! Seems to be a monster. Why did you tell this terrible story? Run away from it as soon as possible. Don't touch me, JJ, help me. Oh no, Mikey, please. She's in the clutches of a monster. Oh no, get away from me. Okay, it seems JJ fell into a hole, but... Mikey remained unconscious here. Okay, it's time to get his body back to himself, and finally I can kidnap Mikey, and then I can catch JJ and put them in cages and drown them in lava later, haha. <laughs> okay, it's time to drag Mikey away, right into my lair in the forest. No one can find us there. You're out of luck today, Mikey. A few moments later. Oh my god, I woke up. Stop. It looks like I'm somewhere in a cave. It looks like I passed out when I fell into this pit of water. It's time to find a way out of here. Okay, I think I found a ladder to get out of here. Okay, I'll do it. Oh my god, I need to find Mikey urgently. He was kidnapped by a forest monster. I need to ask the villagers if they saw him. I have to save my friend. I managed to escape from him. I hope Mikey is all right now. I need to get to the village and find out where Mikey has disappeared. I'm sure I can find him. I hope everything works out. Meanwhile... Where did I end up? Hey, I just regained consciousness. Oh my god, it looks like I'm tied up and hanging right over the lava. Hey, it's very scary here. Please let me out of here now. <laughs> Not so fast, Mikey. Now you're in my hands, you're trapped, and you definitely won't get out of here. No way. Only I can decide what to do with you. Hey, stupid bandit. Let me out immediately. You'll see my friend JJ will come and destroy you. I'm sure he will come and save me. Yes, he will come. And I will also catch him and put him in another cage. And then I will mock you for a very long time because I hate both of you. Let's see, dumb bandit about this. Okay, finally I got to the village. I need to find Mikey urgently. Hey, villager, please pay attention to me immediately. It's very urgent. You don't understand. It's very urgent. It happened to us tonight. Whoa, whoa, calm down, JJ. It looks like something really happened to you. Tell us, maybe we can help you. Mikey disappeared tonight. Maybe you saw him recently. He was kidnapped by a scary monster. How can we find out where he might be? Oh, hey, we didn't see him last night. We're shocked that he's missing. Okay, we'll help you find him. But I think I know where we can find out what happened last night. Surveillance cameras are installed on the bank building of our village. They may have spotted where Mikey was taken. You are geniuses. Let's go straight to the bank, villagers. Okay, we went to the bank. It seems that those surveillance cameras should be installed here. We will ask to show us these recordings. I hope we can find Mikey on them. Oh my god, I hope he's okay. I'm so worried about him. Okay, I'm sure everything will be fine, JJ. Look at the cameras are working, which means that they recorded everything that happened that night. We just need to look at the recordings from them. I'm sure everything will work out. Phew, thanks for calming me down. Okay, hey, Mr. Bank employee. We urgently need CCTV footage on the street. My friend is missing. Maybe this will help us. Okay, 
No problem, guys. You can watch the recordings right on this laptop. No problem. And so let's look at the record. Hey, oh my God, I think I found what I was looking for. It's Mikey and he's unconscious. He's being dragged by some bandit towards the back of the bank. Oh my God. It seems that I now know where Mikey is. We urgently run there. Okay, I'm sure this place is somewhere in the depths of the forest that is located behind the bank building. Mikey, don't worry. I'm already coming to you. I'll save you. I will destroy this bandit. It looks like we were pranked. He was not a monster. And so it seems I came. Hey, I found this place. Oh my God, I'm in complete shock. It's Mikey. Hey, he's tied up and hanging right above the lava. Mikey, can you hear me? It's me, JJ. I came to save you. Oh my God, I'm in complete shock, JJ. It's real. And really you! I do not know what to do! Mikey, don't worry! I can get you out of here right now! Wait a second! This bandit tied me up here and can throw me right into the lava at any moment! You need to run otherwise and he will be able to put you in a cage! It's dangerous, JJ! Oh no, turn around, JJ! So you got caught, JJ! I knew you'd come! Don't move or I'll shoot you! Get into the cage! Now you're a hostage, too! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, man! Just don't shoot me, okay? Oh my god, everything is ruined, Mikey. Now we are both held hostage by this bandit. There is no way for us to get out of here. What should we do now? Hey, less talking assholes. Both of you are in my prison. It looks like you can't get out of here now. It's so funny to look at you. Ha ha! Wait, what is that sound? Hey, is that aggressive bees from TNT? Oh my god, where did they come from here? No get away from you, stupid bees. Oh no. They are very aggressive and want to blow up everything here. Oh my god, JJ, it looks like these bees just saved our lives. Your cage is destroyed. Now you can get out of here, hooray! They blew up this bandit, it was very amazing! Wow, it seems we're almost saved. Wait, I need to find water to get you out of here. I'll put out the fire, wait me! And so and so, JJ, you thought you would go alone to save Mikey no matter how. We also came to your aid. Wow, villager, it was you who helped us get out of here and destroy this bandit. I'm in complete shock, thank you all. Hey, it seems this little bee with a bucket will help put out the lava to free Mikey. Thank you, this is the best day of my life. We are saved now. Finally, JJ, thanks to the two villagers who helped us get out of here. Okay, now all that remains is to cut this rope and I will be completely free. Oops, it seems you fell a little. It's not a problem for us, okay, Mikey? You can get up. Now this rope won't be a problem for you. I've never felt so free than now. Okay, I'm completely shocked that you saved me, JJ. How could you even find me? This bandit was pretty smart, but he was- is in the mine. I have put a workbench, a stove, and a chest here right now to melt the iron ore that we will extract. There is also quite a lot of lava in my inventory. It will be needed in the future, but for now, I put the iron ore in the furnace. JJ, a crowd of villager zombies are running after me right now. Rather, we need to destroy them. Now they will kill us both. Oh, Jesus! Hey, stop! Don't panic, Mikey! Everything should work! As I thought, it looks like the villager zombies just fell right into my secret pit trap that I made while you were in the mine. Mikey, we are saved. Now they are in the pit and will not be able to get out of it. We won. Wow! I'm in complete shock, JJ. I didn't know that you made this pit trap. It's just a brilliant idea, and it worked. The zombies fell right here. Now we can destroy them. It was very cool. Uh, yep, everything happened exactly as I planned. And now with the help of buckets of lava, I will fill this whole pit. The villager zombies will burn here, and now they are definitely destroyed. And we can go home. Oh yeah, thanks for saving me. The next day. Wow, Mikey, I like watching our new series that you and I shot. It looks very cool. We tried to make this video as interesting as possible. And do you like our new video? Oh yes, I like it. Hmm. Hey, we ordered pizza. Where's the courier? He's been gone for a long time and I'm so very hungry. And so it seems this is the address. One pizza for JJ and Mikey. It remains to deliver it. Huh, I really like this moment in the video. Here I'm pranking you and you don't even see. Hey, it seems to be the courier, JJ. Open the door. Our pizza has arrived. Hooray, finally. And so, good afternoon, JJ and Mikey. <laughs> It looks like I didn't get the wrong address. This is a pizza courier. Oh, that's right, Mr. Courier. We ordered one hot pizza. One pizza for you. I understand correctly. Bon appetit. 
Phew, it was pretty fast. But I feel like the pizza is still hot. Hooray, Mikey, we can enjoy the new hot pepperoni cheese pizza. I'm so hungry and it's been a long time. It's time for lunch. Bon appetit to you, Mikey. Thank you very much, JJ. And you too, it's time to eat delicious pizza. One hour later. Phew, this pizza was really delicious. I'm so full that I can't get out of bed. But it was a good lunch. Did you like pizza, JJ? Yes, I liked her too. And I ate too much. And so, it looks like now we're a little bored. Hey, what are we gonna do today? We still have a whole day ahead of us. Hey, I have something at the back of the house. But it's a secret. Let's go and show it to you. Wow, okay. And so here's my secret, JJ. It's right behind my house. It's a tree house. I built it a few days ago. It looks like no one knows about its existence yet. Do you like it? Wow, Mikey. I didn't know you like tree houses. It looks like you built one for yourself. Wow, it looks good. It's small and secretive. Okay, let's take a look inside so I can fully appreciate it. It's really interesting and cool. Go ahead, JJ. I'm glad if you appreciate my tree house. The entrance to it is right. If you climb up the stairs, you can do it now and see the house inside. Wow, I climbed right inside the house. Okay, Mikey, join me. Climb the stairs too. Now we are inside your small and cozy tree house. Okay. You can see how I've set it up. It's great to survive here. There's a place for tools and a bed. I like it. Yes, I see, Mikey. Your tree house looks good. But I'm sure we can make tree houses much better. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a competition for the best tree house. Seriously, JJ, yeah, let's do it. And so, and here is our competition. Who will build the most beautiful and best tree house? I have installed two identical small trees for you and me, Mikey. You can use any materials to create your own and unique tree house. But we have to build a tree house in just one day. Wow, that sounded amazing. Okay, let's start building our future tree houses. Okay, Mikey, you can use whatever you want. The main thing is that the treehouse looks like the house itself that is on the tree. You can build it of any color and size. Only your imagination limits you. I think we can start creating. Hey, I was wondering what kind of treehouse you want to build, Mikey. Hmm, I want to build a fairly simple but cozy and comfortable treehouse where anyone can live. Now I'm starting to install a wooden block floor. Hmm, wow, an interesting choice, Mikey. Okay, I'm sure you'll get a good house. Keep building in the same spirit. I'll also start building my own treehouse now. My treehouse will come out pretty great. I'm sure of it. I need a whole day to build it. I'm sure I can handle and finish my house on tree in just one day. Oh my god, it seems to me that I don't have enough time anymore. I need to hurry up. Oh yes, Mikey. You need to hurry up urgently to build it. But don't worry, we still have a whole day and you will definitely make it. And so I want to build a pretty big and tall house. It will be amazing. But for this, I will need to build a giant tree. It will not be an easy Okay, it's been a few hours. Hey, Mikey, I see you're getting a pretty good treehouse. Now I see you're building a roof for it. It looks cute. Thank you for liking it already, but I haven't finished it yet. I need more time. Okay, while you're busy with the roof of your house, I've already managed to build a pretty big tree. It's tall and durable. I like its shape and how it already looks, but it's also not finished. I haven't installed glass yet. I haven't added more foliage for my house, but I'll do it now. His JJ, it looks like you can build very well. Okay, good luck building your personal tree house. And I'll continue to build a roof for my house. Okay, the entrance to my house will be in the tree itself. I need to put a door and a bell so that I can call directly into my cool tree house. Okay, and now let's add a fence. It will look even better. And this is to fence off the entrance of my house from various monsters and animals. Inside the tree, there is a spiral staircase along which you can climb inside the house. It looks cool. It remains to add more foliage for the tree a few moments later well JJ I want to introduce you to my new tree house it looks pretty cozy and comfortable look how it looks it's really amazing you need to look inside to like it even more oh yeah wow it looks good Mikey you did your best to build it but now it's time to look at my tree house it looks really amazing and unimaginable it's much taller than your house and consists of two floors it's made in the shape of a giant tree hey guys wait it seems there are some gigantic buildings here 
Oh my god, just look at these amazing tree houses. I'm in complete shock. Oh yes, they look very cool. They are so beautiful. Hey, JJ, look! It seems the villager is completely shocked by our tree houses. Okay? I think it's time to evaluate the interior of my house. Let's go inside right now. His Mikey, your house looks very beautiful from the inside. You did your best on the interior. These hanging lamps on a chain look great. Okay, now it's my turn. Wow, your house is very gigantic. This tree is so beautiful. It looks like there's even a door inside the house and a bell. Wow, and this spiral staircase looks cool. It looks like you tried very hard. Your house looks big and comfortable. I like it. Oh yes, Mikey. Thanks for appreciating my treehouse. Let's run to the exit of the cave quickly. I'm running as soon as possible, JJ. They almost caught up with us. We shouldn't have gone into this mine. There are these scary zombies everywhere. We have to escape. Hurry up, we're right at the exit. Come on, we need to hurry. Get out and I'll close the passage to the mine with a boulder. The zombies will not be able to pass through it and will stay inside. Hurry up, close the whole passage. I'm very afraid that they will be able to break this wall of their cobblestone. It's okay, Mikey. Don't worry, it's over. This wall is strong enough to hold back this crowd of zombies. Now they will definitely stay inside the cave and we are saved free and everything is fine with us. Phew, it was really dangerous. Okay, I hope everything is okay. Thanks for calming me down. But these zombies were unusual. They looked so strange. They are more precisely stronger than the ordinary zombies that we meet. I'm glad we managed to escape from there. Yes, you're right, Mikey. It's good that we managed to get some resources there. Now we can rest. Hey, I'm very hungry. Do you want to eat? Of course I want to eat and very much. Let's find delicious food right now. Hmm, how about ordering a pizza? I think it's a good idea today. Yeah, okay, stop, what is it? This is some kind of new shop opened in our village. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, let's get closer and find out what it is. Yes, that's for sure. It looks like something related to food. This shop looks attractive. Hey, it seems like a cook works here and he has a lot of food and we are just very hungry after the mine. Maybe he will sell us food. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It looks like you're welcome to my wonderful shop. Congratulations, you're here, but this is not a simple shop. This is an entry for a speed eating contest. I don't sell food. Hmm, you don't sell food. It sounds strange. You have so much food. And what kind of competition did you just say? Hey, we're very hungry. Tell us about this competition. Okay, okay, guys, we just need hungry people like you. It's simple. Today I'm organizing a battle. There will be two participants. The one who eats the most will get a prize. You can eat as much as you want. We provide food. Will you participate? Wow! That sounds really cool, JJ. Hey, we have to participate in this battle. Yes, I agree. It sounds cool. Let's do it, Mikey. I'm very hungry like you. It looks like we're going to compete against each other. And that's what we need now. Especially since the food is free. Great. We have two new members. I'm signing you up now the next day. Okay guys, it looks like we're ready to start. I'm officially announcing the opening of our annual eating competition. Whoever eats the most food will win, and whoever fails will remain a loser. Today we have two participants, JJ and Mikey. They will stand for the title of the best eater in this village. Oh yes, he's talking about us. Today they will have on the table the most diverse food that is only in the world, ranging from cakes to Japanese cuisine. In a couple of minutes we will start the battle. Wow! It's so exciting! I've never been to a competition like this. It looks like the whole village gathered to watch our battle. Hey, Mikey! I didn't know our lunch would be so huge today. Just look at how much food they cook for us on this huge table. And that's not all. Yes, I see it, JJ. And I am in complete shock. I am so hungry. I am ready to eat everything that is here. Today we will eat well, and at the same time find out who is the best eater among us who will eat more food for this battle. Yes, I agree. It looks like we'll start eating right now. I wish you good luck, Mikey. Oh yes, thank you, JJ. And good luck and bon appetit to you too. Okay, everything is ready to start our battle. I'm very hungry too. And I'm sure I can eat a lot more food than Mikey. That's what we'll find out right now. A few moments later. <laughs> and so the long-awaited moment began. The ball officially began. Mikey and JJ started eating food from the table, and it looks like they are very hungry and are not going to stop. 
I see how they want to eat more and more. I can only wish them good luck in eating this so different and delicious food. After a while, we will be able to determine the winner, who will eat more. JJ or Mikey, I do not even know which of them. One hour later. Uh, uh. Oh my god, it looks like it was the biggest and most delicious lunch of my life. It was very tasty. It looks like we ate everything that was on this table. Hey, what one, me or Mikey? I do not know, but it seems we recovered from the food. Yes, I'm shocked. It was so delicious. But it seems I ate everything I could, and I can't fit anymore. I ate too much. It looks like we finished eating JJ at the same time. None of us won. And now I want to sleep. Yes, that's for sure. It looks like they want to bring us more food, but I also can't eat anymore. I also want to sleep, and very much. <sighs> hmm. It seems that everything did not go according to plan. Hey. They just ate too much food and fell asleep right on the table. JJ Mikey, wake up. Oh my god. It looks like they are sleeping too soundly. Who will continue to participate in the competition? We should have brought them more food. But it looks like they decided to fall asleep. All the show and battle ruined. I'm done. I can't take it anymore. All the villagers are gone. It looks like it's my turn to do it. Goodbye, guys. The next day. Oh, hey Mikey! Good morning! It looks like we fell asleep at the same time as you when we ate all the food. It looks like we got fat. Stop, where is everyone? It looks like the competition is over and everyone is gone and we just fell asleep here. I'm shocked! Yes, that's for sure! But it was very tasty for us. It was a really cool competition. We never found out who the best eater was, but it's okay. What are we going to do now, JJ? Hmm, I think the best way would be to think about how we can lose weight. What we ate yesterday affected us. There was a lot of food, and now we have become fat. We need to get in shape, otherwise we will stay like this forever. Are you with me, Mikey? Hmm, I thought it was a good idea. It looks like this battle of eaters was very good. I want to try this delicious food again. Okay, I'm with you, JJ. Let's lose weight quickly. I don't like being fat either. But how do we do it quickly, JJ? What do we need to do now? Now, I'll show you how good it is that I have organized a small gym next to my house. That's what we will do now. Pull barbells, run on a treadmill, hone martial arts skills. Thanks to this, we will be able to quickly and actively lose our weight and become jocks. Wow, it sounds very interesting, okay? start right now. I wonder if we can get pumped up quickly. I want to check it out now. I'll start boxing and then I'll start pulling the barbell like real jocks. Oh yes, that's right. And I'll start lifting dumbbells. Let's see what we can do today. Wow, JJ, everything worked out. We worked hard at sports. Look who we've become now, real jocks. Wow, I'm shocked, Jesus. Wow, that's for sure. Now we can be really strong. Okay, let's go for a walk a little bit. Today turned out to be very interesting. We participated in the Battle of the Eaters and got pumped up. Yes, it's very amazing. Everything turned out, JJ. 